Hi, this is Kai from New Electronic Frontier, and today I want to give you a quick and dirty video about the firmware update of the Denon X1850. And this is a second firmware update video um, I've made because I really, really like the feature that comes to it. Then I thought about what makes life of DJs easier and what they implemented in this main feature is that you now have a broadcast mode that allows you to use the sound card of the Denon directly into broadcasting programs like OBS, which I really love because I use OBS, I use streaming once in a while, and this cuts really out the sound card in the middle of the sound interface you've used, and you just plug in your mixer via USB into um, the computer. So let's see um, how this works. Um, you need to download the um, actual firmware, that's 130, if I'm not totally mistaken. And uh, let's see what happens. Usually, they have great explanation. Okay, yes, I want to open it. So, device not found, plug in the prime scan for device button. So, you got to power up your prime. plug into the USB. Um, I always use USB 1. I think in the last firmware update it was kind of necessary. So now we scan for device and now you see he says it's 1.2 uh, and actually we need to update to 1.3 and we use update firmware. So now we have like um, all the um, stuff we need for the firmware update on the screen. So power off. Okay, you need to power up, uh, power down. Okay, you power down and then you press the back, FX, Q and Z button here. So I hope you can see that. It's a bit, so you need to do this with one hand and then with the other hand, switch it on again. And you see he's doing starting in the web update mode. And then for sure you have to select, let me get a bit closer here. So you can see. And you have to select OK. Press enter button, and then you see he is displaying nicely. Um, on the display here. Data receiving. And now you click the next button in this application to send the actual update. And now you see they, they use the channel meters to display um, the progress of the update. Which can take a while. So we will fast forward this part. So now that he is finished, wait a while, the update installs and you see again the channel um, lighting and the markers are again used to show the progress. The display gets dark and now I think he restarts and you now can see firmware version 1.3. So the update was successful and now he is up and running as he should be. So, and in the software, now you make only next. It has been successfully updated and you just exit the software. And now comes the interesting part. Let's see if we find this directly. Um, so, we go in here and here's now the point that's called advanced audio. 
And here we have, I think, USB audio. And there's a broadcast mode. And that's new. And you can just turn it on. Broadcast mode disables DVS on channel 1. Press Enter to continue. So that means channel 1 cannot do DVS for whatever reason that is. But um, that's that should be it, actually. So now he's sending uh, the master signal via USB to my computer. Let's see, let's open up OBS Studio and see if he recognizes. So I have um, a lot of stuff here. And we can see if we uh, go to settings. And you can see audio. Let's see what we have here. And you see we have Prime X1850. And, oopsie, didn't work out. This should be it. Okay, and you can add here a scene called scene five. We add it here and we have, have an audio input. We take a audio input and we see X1850 and ta-da! Here we have it, this, this, this thingy that works right here. Uh, so let me just plug in a microphone here. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. So here we go. Mic one is on and you see now the, now the signal comes also to the master and the master signal is then displayed in OBS. So direct USB connection, no sound card required. Makes my life a lot easier simply because, um, yeah, <laughs> less cables, less equipment. You just need the computer you want to stream from um, and a USB cable to the mixer. And that's it, basically. Straightforward. Thank you, Denon. Great update. That was Kai from uh, New Electronic Frontier. Um, if you like this video, subscribe or like it or comment or whatever. Um, I'm always happy to get in contact. And um, yeah, come back for the next videos. Thank you.